And now, First One Five Weather with forecaster Stephen Sarabia. Good morning. It is 947 off to a very cloudy start across the valley here. Sky 5 in McAllen. Those clouds are expected to move pretty much as we speak this morning. We should be left with mostly sunny skies by the time we reach noon. And temperature wise, it's already warm across the valley. Here's McAllen at 78 degrees, 74 for Wesleyco, which is the average this time of the year, 76 for Harlingen, or uh, 76 for Port Isabel, 77 for Harlingen, 77, 76 in Rio Grande City. So I mentioned the average, which is 74. And we're going to be well above that with the high today at 87. Nowhere near the record, though, of 92. Then 83 on Monday and Tuesday, Valentine's Day, 81. Still well above the average. It is until after Tuesday where temperatures finally begin to drop below. So here's a look at the Doppler network showing that it is nice and quiet across the valley. We are seeing a lot of clouds, but we're not seeing any rain from those clouds. The rain is expected after 9 p.m. tonight. And so that 20% chance is after 9 p.m. It's going to be mostly dry during the day today. You're not going to need that umbrella. But Monday, the start of the day, 30% chance of rain. You're going to need your umbrella if you're going to do anything outdoors in the morning. And then Tuesday, Valentine's Day, 50% chance of rain there. So just keep that umbrella handy for Monday and Tuesday. Wind speeds are a big factor today. They're already starting to pick up across the valley. Edinburgh showing 17 mile an hour winds. Same with Raymondville, 15 for Port Isabel, 12 for Weslaco and future track shows that most of the valley is going to get even breezier as we continue throughout the day. This is 1 p.m. and that green you're seeing is wind speeds over 20 miles an hour. We can see that pretty much sprinkled in spots across the valley, pretty much east of McAllen there. And then as the sort of the sun sets, uh, Rio Grande City starts to see those 20 mile an hour winds. But then by after 7 p.m., that's when things start to calm down. And here's a quick look at the coastal forecast. If you do plan on making your way there, we do have a low tide at 1024 p.m. It is going to be breezy there as well. Winds coming from the southeast at 15 to 20 miles an hour. And small craft exercise caution. So here's that seven day forecast. Here's Valentine's Day. I hate to be the bear of bad news, but we are tracking some rain, 50% chance of rain. So if you have any outdoor plans, make sure you have a plan B or bring an umbrella. You don't want to get rained on there. Highs though 81, so expect a very warm day. Then after that, that's when temperatures cool down. 68 is the expected high on Wednesday, but then after that, warms right back up into the 80s by the next weekend. And we're tracking some rain on Saturday. And that is your update. First Warn 5 forecast.